Hey everyone, welcome back to Figure Fantasy. So today we'll have a Otako Zone guide. So most of us are very familiar with um, the level up function of your Otako, but there are other um, kind of hidden rewards or functions that most of us do not really look into. Um, I'll start first with your level up uh, function. So as you can see here in the bottom part, you have five units here. Of course, th these are your highest level units that you are leveling up. So in this game, you only level up five, then the rest would be placed on your attacko. So these are my uh, five highest units. So from level 220 to 180, the lowest level units will be uh, the lowest level unit will apply his or her level to the rest who are in the otako. So for those units or figures that are not in the otako, they won't get the benefit of at least level 180, as you can see here. So your otako level here is going to be crucial because um, the higher your otako level, the more units you could add to your otako. And also, um, as you can see here, you, the, you, you see here toolbox. So this is the currency that you will need to level up your attack. So they can be obtained from three sources. You have your I, uh, Adventure Idol, Nightmare, and Sacred Tour. That is why I'm urging you guys to three-star your Sacred Tour. Because um, your Sacred Tour gives you um, the toolboxes just for three starring it and the rest you'll be getting from nightmare and adventure idol so those are the three sources those are in terms of leveling up your taco leveling up your heroes and how to level them up okay so next would be getting additional rewards from your taco as you remember or you notice care here is uh, if you click on care if you haven't clicked on this yet this will give you um gold or our gold coin currency or lucky coin currency i'm, I'm not sure i forgot what, what 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 it's called but it's our kind of currency for gold so you're gonna be getting it here previously what i only got for care three was i think only thirty thousand. now i'm getting up to one hundred fifty thousand because i'm at care zero five so that is how big of a jump um, if you level up your care okay also for your photo shoot before i used to only get um uh what do you call this uh photo shoots that can only dispatch one figure but now i can dispatch two and the rewards are better right now so as you can see here i have rewards here i have uh diamonds this one and this one is your gold reward claim so i have three more that i have dispatched that i have to claim rewards later and also you can refresh this if you don't like the dis uh, dispatch rewards that are being shown in your photo shoot so okay so how can we what you call this how can we increase our photo shoot the rewards for photo shoot and the rewards for care the only way that you can level this up is to increase the comfort level of your figurine so where do you go guys so you go here and your comfort so as you can see um this ones are the ones you've earned already the privileges that you've earned um this one is going to be more rare go to photo shoot tasks from refreshes so this is very important because this gives you higher higher rewards for your photo shoot so right now my current is 3852 the objective uh, or the next goal is 3817 that is why it's giving me a reward here and this is going to be your reward so another um another of this one the trending topics and also you get this one with epoxy cement, which is just an additional. You actually would want to have this one, the V-Log. So let's claim this reward and claim it here. So it's going to be added here. Then your next reward would be go to photo shoot task, refreshes raised to seven times per day. So as you, as you increase your comfort, 
there will be additional rewards for your otaku which will be re reflected here and also your care will also increase as you increase your comfort so how do you increase your comfort so the only way you could increase the comfort of your taco is through your fortune town okay so you have three right now we have three uh, three uh, groups of uh, of uh, what do you call this of furniture so you this is according to theme so it, this is the other theme which is end time horizon you can actually preview the theme if you want to assemble it like this you can do so um similar to this one you can assemble it that one then as you go here take note that the currency is not this one not the uh, ginger pillow but it's going to be fortune ginger so island series is going to be this one if you go into preview so this will be your ideal setup for uh what they call this for this theme for island series so the basic ones are these ones so for every ornament for every wallpaper wall art there is actually corresponding uh, what they call this corresponding uh, symbol here kg is going to be your kilogram so your attacko has a weight limit and uh, 40 with a smiley face is going to be comfort so once for example i'm gonna buy this one um this is going to add me 40 comfort and 200 kg so what does that mean in terms of your actual otaku so let's go to arrange so as you can see once you arrange there here is your comfort here is your kg which uh your maximum kg in terms of weight in terms of kilograms is 40 for 4800 which right now i'm at 2690 so i'm i'm, I'm a bit far from the limit so um your otaku has a limit guys so please check this out so as you can see comfort level then you can actually install some of the features here some of the features there wallpaper you can change ornaments as well so let's just save this i don't want to change this now initially my otaku only look like this one this this uh, two shelves here but i realized that no matter how cluttered your otaku is the main goal is to mainly increase your comfort so even though right now it's a bit cluttered, it definitely raises my comfort and uh, given me a lot of rewards for photo shoot and for care. So again, these little rewards might be little, but again, these are what keeps you going every day in terms of building up resources. So that is why it's crucial that you get the best photo shoots out there and the best care as well but again as you put items there it's going to increase all of the rewards that you'll be getting so so far that is it for your otaku oh by the way for your otaku effect there are some furnitures probably in the future which would give special effects to your otaku so please watch out for that and probably avail of the special effects for your otaku so basically that's it guys so Hopefully this guide, you know, simple guide helped you in what to prioritize, what to look after, and uh, more or less on how to maximize your otaku. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So if you're, you know, if you're here already, please do subscribe to my channel because this helps me a lot. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.